Guys, don't believe anything the government says, essentially, uh, because all they do is lie to you and they take your money away. First, they tax you. Then they tax you some more when you buy things. And then they take your money away through inflation. So you get triple taxed. And if you still believe what these nerds in the government keep telling you every time they need to get elected, well, you need to freaking get a brain and just realize that no one cares about me or you. All they care about is themselves and you should stop wasting your time getting mad over the politics, right or left or the middle. It does not matter. No one cares about anybody. They're all out for themselves and you should be out for yourself as well. I woke up today and sadly, to no surprise, there are a few things that are trending on Twitter currently. Hashtag crypto crash, hashtag Bitcoin crash, hashtag crypto markets are dominating Twitter. And of course, when there's a crash in cryptocurrency, there's always a healthy amount of really really funny memes out there guys so i want to go over these memes all right so here we're on the twitter account this is hashtag crypto crash let's see what's going on here okay rough rough times i love this one look at that u.s government is biking they have like a baseball bat in their hand and they print five trillion dollars guys now i don't know if you remember or not but everybody in the united states government saying the inflation is transitory it's not gonna last a long time well any idiot any idiot you could think of would tell you that inflation is never transitory it hasn't been transitory for the past 250 days the more money the government is putting into the system it gets devalued therefore the money is, is worse less and that is what inflation is it is a devaluation of money on purpose by the government in order to in order to pay off their debt so they print five trillion dollars hey wait what, why we got inflation and then they blame uh putin now of course there's a part of this that um you know you could attribute it to the war in ukraine but a lot of this inflation and we're seeing one percent month to month 8.6 percent year over year and this is the cpi index right the actual inflation is probably in the double digits right now and then you blame putin that's what the government does guys don't believe anything the government says essentially uh, because all they do is lie to you and they take your money away first they tax you then they tax you some more when you buy things and then they take your money away through inflation so you get triple taxed and if you still believe what these nerds in the government keep telling you every time they need to get elected well you need to freaking get a brain and just realize that no one cares about me or you all they care about is themselves and you should stop wasting your time getting mad over the politics right or left or the middle it does not matter no one cares about anybody they're all out for themselves and you should be out for yourself as well let's move on here oh this is my favorite guy man i actually seen somebody like this in my neighborhood i think they were cashing a check but either way me buying one last dip now i was i i also i also think that was very intellectually this honest when a lot of people whenever there's some sort of a crash in the stock market or a correction in the stock market they just hashtag buy the dip buy the dip well you're gonna buy your dip to where the only thing you can afford is a shit stained underwear like this guy and then you're still buying the dip guess what the real time to buy is when this guy right here with only his underwear on has given up on buying the dip when those people that are telling you to buy the dip once they give up on buying the dip once they become so frustrated that there will no longer be buying anything because they think that stocks and crypto is all a scam that is the real time to buy not when someone tells you it's time to buy so that's a pretty funny one in my opinion as well uh, Warren Buffett, another one over there. Um, done with this crypto shit. Me waiting for the next crypto bull run. Okay, okay, and then you're dead. Well, listen, guys, I, what I have noticed that a lot of people these days, 
they they believe that things they want things to move super fast believe it or not guys it's been less than a year that we're in this correction in this in this crash you want to call it in both the stock and the crypto market six months some corrections and even most corrections it last at least a year with this with today's social media today's fomo today's access to information what these people are doing is they're releasing this information to get you to feel anxious you get anxiety you want to form a win you can't wait you need it now 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 just like amazon prime right you want it now i want to deliver it in 24 hours and that is what they want you to believe here and the problem with that the markets don't work that way listen guys time in the market always prevails over timing the market the longer you stay in the market the people who stay in the market over 5 10 15 20 30 years those are the real people who make money anybody who trades in and out of the markets and when i say this i'm talking about like day traders and and and, and old coin traders or whatever they are listen they may have a gain one day but ultimately they will lose the money and the only way they're making money is by getting you to FOMO in with their anxiety inducing comments posts and and to my surprise these are the people that are being watched the most on YouTube being followed the most on Twitter the people who spread the FOMO the fear and make you lose money okay let's move on first day in crypto yeah man look at that nice and shaven nice and fresh and green just looking out in the open thinking hey i'm gonna become a millionaire by investing hundred dollars and then in three days i'm gonna have a million dollars five years in crypto which is what i am right now i i listen i've been invested in crypto and stocks for over five years these things don't scare me at all worst comes to worst everything goes to zero the mean literally the world ends and then well no one will actually care about crypto or the stock market for that matter but then again five years into crypto it's been rough boys it's been up you know 400 percent. it's been down 80 percent. it's going up and down you, hey listen if you believe in what you invest if you know what you own if you do actual research if you do actual research on the things that you own and don't buy old coins shit coins or any penny stocks they and, and you know you could buy those but just don't put all your life savings in there you know don't bet ten thousand dollars on let's say luna you know what i mean unproven unsecured garbage let's move on waiting for the next bull run like come on dude do something you see again fomo inducing guys you could be waiting for the next bull run but the fact is we're probably not going to see it until 2024 sure we're going to see a relief rally maybe something will pump to 35 40 thousand dollars bitcoin will pump to those numbers but we will not see an actual bull run to the new all-time highs in in over 700 days so if you're thinking that something will happen very very soon I need you to relax, breathe, go outside, walk on grass, you know, uh, you know, go play sports, forget about it. If you own a good asset, you shouldn't be looking at it daily waiting for a bull run because a lot of people think that in the next bull run, they're going to get rich. But the fact is, uh, the numbers are not going to be as inflated as they were in the previous bull runs. If you look at the past bull runs in crypto, not the stock market, the stock market always reaches the new all time highs eventually. But every single bull run in crypto from the past is always smaller in number, right? So I think um, I watched this video where the next bull run will likely only triple or quadruple the money the the worth of how much the bitcoin is worth uh, it won't go any higher because of a mass adoption um okay let's move on here haven't checked my crypto portfolio which means the crash isn't happening i mean that's a good way to go about it at least you do not have any heart palpitations let me tell you that you live in a drinking your coffee you don't you know you don't care and that's the way to go that's the way to go 
crypto crash road to the moon okay so you were normally there started crypto one year ago now if you started crypto one year ago you in big trouble my friend right now i don't know where you're gonna find those that that patient i don't know where you're gonna find the patience to make it through the next 700 days my uh, you know my suggestion go outside and get a life wanted to be a long time hodler laughed about dips the first time lost more than 60 percent of value <laughs> Listen, 60% is the best case scenario. Most people are 97 or like above like 90% or more down because they're investing in things like, you know, the Luna coin, the BitTorrent coin, some other like dog coin and Shiba Inu coin. Guys, you know, that, that's what happens. I mean, if some people think that things will only go up, the only way to learn is the hard way. And this is the lesson here. That they have to learn here uh so look at this uh, something about millionaire in the metaverse so here we go a guy who invested too much in the metaverse because uh let's be honest metaverse is probably the biggest uh, scam virtue signaling bullshit uh which companies are trying to promote like a something the fact is guys why we're talking about a meta a metaverse a digital world to live in where you have third world countries all over the place, right? Where there's still no internet. So why are we talking about living in the digital world while more than half of the society lives in an undeveloped world where you can't get internet, there's no lights, no fuel, there's barely any supermarkets. It's way too early for this. Metaverse is for when the population becomes so high and then there's no jobs, there's nothing to do. Then you could hide yourself in this metaverse, so to speak, and just, you know, live your pathetic life away in a digital, unreal world. But it's 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 100 to 200 years too early for this. We're moving way too early. And that is why majority of this pay to earn games, metaverse, whatever it is, have gone down in the gutter. Look at his dog, man. His dog, his even the dog, the dog has an outfit chill, chilling. Oh, I really like this one. This is the guy here who, um, you know, who scammed people with the Luna coin. And here's your Bernie Madoff, who also scammed people. <laughs> they both lost investors $60 billion. One goes to jail, the other one just a month later starts a new scheme, a new coin. How is this fair? Why is no why is no one looking at this? Why is everyone closing their eyes? Why are people still investing into this new Luna? After people lost their houses, their you know, their money, and some people lost their lives because of this. It, people should not touch anything that has to do with this guy. Protest. Make him lose money. Even though he probably stole most of the <laughs> most of the money that, that people invested anyway. <laughs> pathetic what is this post through the pain of my entire portfolio being down 80 percent you do not have a portfolio <laughs> let me see 240 you do not have a portfolio listen listen you're just trying to get clicks and likes and you did granted 548 likes here probably because of you know <laughs> that's pretty much it so uh yeah you do not have portfolio you do not know how to invest and you know honestly you're not an investor or a trader Nothing, 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 nothing. Me still buying the dip. True, guys. You learn the hard way. There are dips, but sometimes there are corrections and crashes. And if you buy every single 2 or 3% dip that starts trending on Twitter, it's going to happen to you. He can still afford a cigarette, though. So that's pretty interesting. That's pretty cool. All right. That's pretty cool. Um, who said crypto trading is stressful? Massive dump, no problem. Buy the dip. Oh, yes, that's the way to go. Oh, let's see this one. I look forward in time. I saw 14 million futures. When will the GPU price drop? It never drop. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm down 93%. Holy shit, dude. Boy, how can you be down nine? What did you invest in? Bobby King, that you're down 93%. What what did you is this the coin right here? Kaduna? Is that what it is? Oh my god, man. You know, whenever I started investing, 
I lost about fifteen thousand uh, dollars investing in um, in a penny stock. That was it for me. After that, if you could see in the back there, all those books right there. I read all those books and I learned the proper way to invest. I even do some swing trading from time to time just with play money, just to have fun. But essentially, the only type of investing that works is long term investing in solid companies. And you can use some play money to invest into a smaller cap stocks. You can put a couple hundred bucks in, uh, you know, in penny stocks and stuff like that. Just, but you should know that it might go to zero. But this guy, 93%, his dog is cute though. Not gonna lie. Don't panic, guys. Just stay away a bit. For me, I'm enjoying the memes. Crash can be fun as hell. McDonald's, I'm selling it. Well, I'm probably working at McDonald's right now. Story of my life. I'm gonna buy the dip. Okay. I'll become crazy rich. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, when, when, the, the problem is when. Guys, whenever most people are thinking the same way, that does not happen, right? So if most people are saying, I'm gonna buy the dip, you know, I'm buying the dip, just buy the dip, it's, it's already in the price, right? So it never happens that way. The only way people get lucky or truly you know wealthy is when they buy when no one is talking about that subject so sometime in the future you can already see that on youtube because all the youtube influencers that are out there their views on their videos have dramatically decreased right it's not there yet once there will be complete blood on the streets people will feel helpless with their coins with their bags No one is going to be talking about it. People are not going to want to talk about their losses. That is the time to buy. It's never the time to buy when someone is saying it's the time to buy. My salary and then inflation is just wrecking both your salary and yourself and your investments. True. Me for the past month and a half. Crypto traders. Okay, so the problem here is already it's crypto traders. If you're a crypto trader, you're probably looking like this, especially if you're a leveraged crypto trader. If you're leveraging into crypto, crypto has declined 50%. If you're two times leverage, you're out. Most people, if they see 2x leverage available to them and 50 or 25x leverage, uh, they're probably going to pick the highest uh, 25x leverage or 50% or 50x leverage because because they think, hey, something goes up 2%, I'm doubling my money. Guess what? Never happens that way. Waiting for that relief rally. I mean, if you want a relief rally, you'll probably get a relief rally, but you'll probably buy the top of that as well. <laughs> um, post through the pain of my entire portfolio being down 80%. Holy moly, man. I mean, of course, this guy, NFT... You know, again, same thing with NFTs. NFTs are literally, I mean, I'm not sure why people would spend so much money on JPEGs. Like, it's literally a JPEG that you could find anywhere online. I I just, I don't know why people would spend thousands, if not tens, and, and, and hundreds of thousands of dollars on a picture of like a monkey. It's really weird, guys. It's really weird the way people's brain works and the people who get rich off of this are the people who know how to take advantage of the vulnerable people who are willing to dump their life savings into a picture of a monkey with a cigarette and then call it an NFT and say, it's only yours, yours, and only yours. There's no other one like it. If you Google picture of them, you know, it comes up on Google as a JPEG. Who cares that you have it on your Trezor wallet or whatever? I don't know. Can you put these even, you know, NFTs on your wallet? It's weird. Bought the dip, the actual dip, the dip of the dip, the dip of the dip of the dip of the dip, 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 and, uh, you know, and then you'll be freaking buried. And you'll be buried underground six feet under. Horrible. Hang in there, guys. What is this? Let's see. Let's see here. Tough time never lasts. (laughs) Only tough people last. (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck? Wait, what? Tough time never lasts. Only tough people last. <laughs> Yo, what? That's, yo, that's this guy's mad funny. Hashtag crypto crash. 
In case you missed the first trap, here's another one. Volume going down, price going. I mean, guys, I mean, this doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh, invested in some crypto in February of 2021. So about a year and a half ago. And yeah, portfolio total account value $262 minus 87%. Oh, does it say which crypto this is? No. Oh my goodness, man. Oh my goodness. 87. I mean, thank God it's only 2000 bucks. Everyone's portfolio right now. True. How's your investment doing today? Me. I mean, that's a lot of people, guys. A lot of people, man. I see in my local shop, right? This this like balding and molding manager. Every time I'm at a cash register and I'm trying to, you know, pay for, for, for the food that I bought, he's sitting on his computer and checking the price of Bitcoin for the past year and a half. And you know what? Last time I went there, he was not checking the price of Bitcoin, guys. He probably lost all the money that he actually made as uh, you know, at ShopRite, he put all the money into, hopefully it was Bitcoin or, you know, but it was probably some weird old coin. He probably lost it all. And guess what? He's probably starting over at ShopRite, making minimum wage just like this guy. It's unfortunate, but listen, like I say, it's a dumb tax. If you're too lazy or dumb enough not to do your research uh, on things, uh, and just believe random people online, then it's just, it is what it is. And that's a dumb tax. And, you know, someone, now someone else is spending the money that you worked so hard for. It's just simple as that. <clears throat> Success. Bitcoin is down. Ethereum is down. But sex rates in retirement homes are way, way up. Heck, uh, yeah, dude, because these people, they don't invest in Bitcoin or crypto or stock market. Hey, they're just chilling. They got them savings, got that social security. They chilling. They're chilling. <clears throat> when they try to manipulate the price, but you keep eating those dips. Let me see. Okay. Okay. All right. So he's getting ice cream. Wait, why? Why is there like more? Th What's going on? But he bit into that one already and he just threw it out. Yo, what is going on? Why is there like so many cones uh, one inside the other cone and the person is like touching it and he wants it back. Look, he bit into this one, right? Look, he took this one. He bit into that one. And then he took that one, he bit into that one, he, he bit all of them. And now the guy wants it back. And he takes the ice cream and he throws it at him because he already bit into it. Just give it to him. Those are tasty. <laughs> Holy moly macaroni. Get ready for a bloody market with this crypto dump. Well, let's check it out. Ladies, maybe get a word? <laughs> Hide the money, y'all. There are poor people around. <laughs> with your broke ass. <laughs> hide your money y'all there's poor people around <clears throat> uh crypto influencers telling you to buy the dip oh shit i thought ethereum was supposed to go to 10k yeah why don't you go ahead and go ask uh, this uh, same question to all those YouTubers out there where Bitcoin 100k or 80k and Ethereum is, uh, you know, 5k or 10k, boys. Hey, why don't you ask them? Why don't you stop watching their videos and actually start watching the content that spreads the truth about the crypto market, how to navigate the crypto market the right way, and as well as the stock market, instead of liking all these videos from these shillers uh, who just pretty much hype up the price or and pump and dump on you. And then when the price goes down, they say, no, no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. You know, happens all the time. Unfortunate, but happens all the time. Why don't you call them out? Do something about it. Stop watching the videos. 
uh, unfollow them. Do something, you know? <laughs> oh, shit, look at this. Me, my shit coins. Exactly. Hey, you're going to be stuck holding that bag for the rest of your life. Most of these shit coins and old coins, they are not coming back guys most of them are not coming back i promise you most of them are not coming back you know some of them are some of them are but a lot of them are not and this is literally what's gonna happen you're gonna hold it you're gonna forget about it eventually you'll get over it but you will always remember that you spend your hard-earned money for monopoly money <clears throat> Who said crypto was stressful? I'm 25 and I feel great. Yo, true. <laughs> Dentures. Denture live, dude. Denture live. What else we got here? Well, here we go. Look at this. Another one. Another one of those buy the dip dudes, right? Buy the dip dudes. The crypto markets are down pretty bad right now. And many people are shaking in their boots as to whether they will see the prices reach back to an old time highs. Now, instead of operating in FUD... And he had, like, and he spells it out by the dip. Oh my god! No. <laughs> wow, we got another one here, guys. Who else buys into the fud? It's great opportunity to buy the fear. How do you think billionaires stay rich? Buy the fear, sell the grid, uh, the greed. Easier said than done, obviously. Obviously, how do you think billionaires stay rich? They're definitely by not doing this. Sheesh. Like if you agree. What if I told you that you only lose money when you actually sell at a lower price than you bought? Well, yes. But the fact is, if you invested in, 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 in crappy coins and, and crappy stocks... You know, keeping the trash won't, won't actually make you rich eventually ever anytime soon or ever because things just disappear. People for some reason these days refuse to believe that things could just disappear or go to zero. I think that is the next step in educating uh, the people, the investors, the new investors out there that things can go to zero. They can and they will. And you're going to lose all your money. So you're gonna, where did the money go? No one knows. We all started like this in crypto market. When you first discover old coins and you have all of them, uh, it's the worst way. But yes, a lot of people do that. What is this one? Oh, this is kind of like the same video. Uh, they had this similar video before. Look at that. Yep, same thing here. He pulls out two dollars right there. Oh yeah, let's put, just put a hey, put a hundred dollar, put hundred dollar, hundred dollars. Ooh, got mad dollars. Look at that. Double that. I'll put everything. Just put everything. Yeah, put your whole house, put your whole car, put everything in that. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> Raul. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens, dude. Yeah, he got rich, man. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, that's the truth. Rock pull, get out. I like that. Yeah, that's the truth, man. That's the truth, man. Gotta be careful with the money you work so hard for. And I just put them anywhere. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what technical analysis is. You pretty much just random Bart Simpson hair, and then you try to find some sort of, like, some sort of a pattern. Yeah, it works sometimes. Most of the time, it doesn't work. <sighs> Retail investors doing research in their investment. Oh my God, yo, this is so true. What? No way this is happening for real, guys. No way. <coughs> These people going to a concert or a game, and this is the guy that they hire to, to, to check them for guns and stuff. Oh my god, man. The meme is so retail investors doing research on their investment. That is true, man. No one does nothing. This is literally retail investors going on YouTube and listening to one of those gurus saying, buy this, uh, you know, poopy poopy gokey coin. It's gonna go up at 10x in the next three days. And then you buy in, he sells, and then it goes down and never make money. And then they say, yeah, I never told you to buy this. Nothing. Wow. 
Come on, man. This guy doesn't even know where he is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's just going through the motions. Oh, my goodness. This is so true. So true. So funny and so true. Holy moly, macaroni. Did they just invert this? How? Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Guys, by the way, if you're sad about your, your portfolios being down like 80%, yeah, just invert it like this. Go to invert it like this and you get happy <laughs> like this. You know what I mean? All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please don't forget to click the like and subscribe button and as well as check out my entire crypto playlist down in the description below. And as well, as if you want to diversify your portfolio and invest in actual real estate, check out my fundraise playlist linked in the description below for the limited time only if you open a new fundraise account and deposit just ten dollars they will give you a fifty dollar bonus if you use my refer link again in the description below thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video take care peace